Uh oh. Belt tensioner time. Throw the F-150 over there. The uh, belt tensioner is out of whack. It's kind of pulled forward a little bit. I was reading these directions. I got this thing. It says, drain the cooling system. G disconnect a negative battery cable. I can understand that, but draining the cooling system. Use correct size, drive socket, ratchet, whatever, break a bar. Uh, let's see. Remove power steering bolts and position the prop. You don't need to do any of that shit. I'm pretty sure you don't. Because all you need to do is take the belt off. And, uh, because it just sits right down up in here. So there's a bolt there. and Yeah, don't need to do any of that shit. All right, here's a quick ghetto tip. If you got one of these uh, 90 amp uh, wire feed welders from uh, Harbor Freight or wherever, you could use a regular like, 240 volt welder or whatever. You got one. Well, you know those uh, sockets with those, I don't know, looks like little hex keys? Well, well you can make them at home instead of buying them. Just cut a little bit of hex out, get yourself a socket that will fit it, see, fit it nice and weld it around it. I'll show you in a little bit what it looks like. All right, I just uh, quickly welded it. Um, it's been a while since I did some welding, so that's what it looked like. Yeah, we'll do what I need it for. All right. Okay, well, I did a different way here for this belt tensioner. Uh, I took the belt off. That's where I'm at now. Took the belt off. Decided I couldn't get that bolt off that's holding that pulley on because loosen it, it pulls the whole tensioner to the left, and I just can't get it off. So I just took my uh, ghetto fabricated, uh, whatever the hell these things are called. Um, thing I just made and I'm gonna see if it actually works here. I'm just too damn cheap to go out and spend more money on tools at the moment. When you got two kids, Hawaii, car payments, bills, well not car payments but insurance payments. Whatever. Come on. Okay, that was surprisingly loose. But it worked. Surprise worked. So I got the new tensioner going on now. I don't like these plastic pulleys. Uh, I don't. I don't like them. Kind of weird. Whatever. Also, throw some Loctite on the this uh, bolt thing. Cause you don't need that thing coming off when you're. Flying down the highway and your tensioner breaks and uh, comes off, belt goes flippy floppy. And you don't need that, and I don't need that. So that's what I love about older vehicles, like trucks, like this. Anything from probably 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s, and back. So much room under the hood, not all this plastic shit like you see in t today's vehicles. And you can actually work under the hood and maneuver yourself. Yeah, this truck is about 20, 
21 years old almost. And it still runs pretty damn good. Yeah, the body is not that great, but it runs. It does what it's supposed to do. Get me to point A to point B, it runs. But yeah. Probably runs a lot better than today's pieces of shit out on the road. You know? Alright. Alright. After dealing with this belt and trying to figure out how to put it back on. Diagram. It's nice to put them there. So I got it back on. Tight tension. Good. 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 Oops. Let's go see if it uh, fires up. Well, it should, but... Won't know until... You drive it if it will squeak again. But let's look at the side view here. Shit. Tracking was gonna be off. Yeah, I gotta do something real quick. 